President, uh, with this report, uh, the European Parliament delivers its opinion on the appointment of the fourth President of the European Central Bank, an institution which became a fundamental pillar not only for the conduction of monetary policies, but also for the whole process of Europe's economic integration. The nomination of Christine Lagarde, the first woman to serve in this position, which is itself a historical fact, ideally happens only a few months after the solemn celebration in this very hall of the Euro's 20th anniversary. The single currency is first and foremost a powerful economic tool. Not only it is the natural and indispensable complement to the single market, but it is also, as President Mario Draghi often recalls in his interventions, the prerequisite to preserve monetary sovereignty in a growingly global and interconnected world. The euro, though, is more than a mere economic tool. It is, above all, an ambitious political project. It is the cornerstone of a European Union of peace and prosperity and the unavoidable instrument to protect and support the European economic, social and political model facing the important transformations of our time. Over the last 20 years, despite the imperfection and incompleteness of the European economic governance, the single currency has shown an amazing strength and resilience even when confronted with one of the toughest economic crises in history. In addition to the political determination to maintain integrity, the commitment of the European Central Bank and of its presidents to preserve within their mandate, of course, the single currency with concrete actions of monetary policy has given a fundamental contribution to protecting the euro and hence the well-being of all European citizens. The 76 written answers provided by the candidate attached uh, to the report that is being voted today, as well as the intense hearing before the Econ Committee that was held on September the 4th, show, I believe, uh, not only Christine Lagarde's awareness of the task and the challenges ahead, but also her suitability to take up the baton from her predecessors and keep on pursuing this important mission. The large consensus obtained by the candidate from the Econ Committee constitutes, I believe, a good support for the outcome of today's vote. However, our task does not end here. As stated by the treaties, and in line with our committees and of the entire Parliament's work, we will keep on monitoring the activity and the decisions of the ECB through, among the others, quarterly uh, monetary dialogues, annual reports, and written questions from MEPs. As always, we will be demanding and we will expect an institution that leaves up the fundamental task it is expected to perform. If we want to reach our ambitious objectives, however, the strength and the stability of the euro are not sufficient. We need to add new institutions, new tools and truly European economic policies to monetary policies measures. It is imperative to pursue an authentic deepening of our economic and monetary union, as also stated by the program presented by President Ursula von der Leyen, which includes measures to ensure the full implementation of the social pillar, as well as growth-oriented revision of the European economic governance. In this context, as co-legislator, we are ready to accept the challenge. Thank you.